I bet that you're a Game Boy fan and I also bet that you've always wanted to create your very own video game. But it is very likely that you don't know anything about game designing or coding. So what if I told you that there's a software out there that allows you to do just that? A software that allows you to create video games for the original Game Boy without any knowledge of coding or game designing. You could share these games with your friends online, you could play these games on emulators or on the actual hardware. And on top of that, what if I told you that this software is free of charge. So let's find out right after this. And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider, my name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. If you are new on the channel guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. So like I was saying in the beginning of the video, well this is not a what if, this is actually a thing. There's actually a software out there that allows you guys to create your very own video games for the original Game Boy. And again, you don't need to know anything about game designing or coding. So the original Game Boy just turned 30 years old last April and uh, apparently people still want to preserve this beautiful piece of hardware. And you guys know I'm a huge supporter of the homebrew and ROM hack community and for me there's nothing more honorable than creating new content for old video game systems. So to celebrate the 30 years of the original Game Boy, we now have the GB Studio. The GB Studio is a software made by the developer Chris Maltby. And yeah, it is pretty much a game maker for the Game Boy. Currently, the software has support for Windows, Mac OS and also Linux. And what type of games can you guys create with the GB Studio? Well, you can create pretty much JRPGs for the Game Boy. I am not entirely sure if you can create other types of game genres with this software, but uh, for now you can create JRPGs, but uh, here's the thing, the software is brand new, so there's definitely some space to grow. There's a full trailer of the launch of the GB Studio, and I will leave the link of the trailer in the description box below for you guys to check it out, and I will also provide you guys with the link for the official website of the program, where you guys can download it for free. Now, I still haven't tested this out because, you know, I literally just found out about this, but here is some information in how this works. I bet that you guys have heard about RPG Maker, well, it is something similar to that, and in order for us to introduce characters and backgrounds in GB Studio, we need an external image editor to make our sprites while music and sounds can be added using GB Studio. So I guess that you can combine external tools with the GB Studio. You know, for you guys to create your own sprites, your pixel art, you can also add custom texts, sound bites, music, the whole thing. And from what I've seen on the trailer and from the feedback that I got from the community, I think that this software is very friendly to use. Oh, and get this guys, because I think this is the best part. The software comes with an emulator so we can test our game creations, although we can export the ROM file so we can play the game in other emulators of our choice. And with that same ROM file, we can put that ROM on flashcards and play on the original Game Boy. And if you know how to mess around with repros, you can print your game on a physical cartridge. And that to me is insane. Now here's the thing guys, most likely this software, like I said, is very friendly to use. There's always room for creativity, but uh, you know, these type of softwares have, you know, a lot of limitations. And I have nothing but respect for the GB Studio, but uh, you know, this is not a fresh idea. Like I mentioned before, we have stuff like RPG Maker. And let's not forget the huge success on Kickstarter of the NES Maker. Which, it is pretty much a software that allows you guys to create any game that you want for the NES. Again, no coding or anything like that. And of course, that software, it is not free, you have to pay for it. But uh, it is not that bad, it is not very expensive and allows you to create any type of game that you want. I have a video about the NES Maker, again, link in the description box below. But nevertheless guys, let's think about this for a second. What does this mean for the future? Because I mean, if there's software out there that allows you guys to create games for the NES, for the Game Boy, I bet that it is not very hard to create similar software so we can make games for, you know, the Sega Master System for example, or the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, the Super Nintendo, the PC Engine maybe, Game Boy Advance, who knows. Now a lot of you guys just want to play games, you know, you probably don't have any interest of software like this, but there's also a lot of people in the community, including me, that we would love to create video games. And this, in my opinion, could be a starting point 
for future game developers. Let me give you guys a quick example. As you guys know, I have a music background, I've studied music production, and uh, I know how to work in a recording studio. But of course, I did have a beginning. First of all, I learned how to play guitar, then I learned how to play keyboards, then before I learned how to record, mix, and produce my own music, I learned how to work with loops and sound bites. Easy, friendly to use software where you have, you know, just a couple of loops, like beats and melodies, stuff like that, and then you kind of build a puzzle and you have a song at the end. And those types of software, you know, software that anybody can use, were very important for me. It was definitely the foundation to me that allows me to work with, you know, music software and recording. And softwares like the GB Studio, well, it could do the same thing for you if you want to become a game designer. And to me, these are very good news, not only for the retro gaming community, but also to, you know, the whole gaming industry. Retro gaming is alive and well, it is strong, the community has been very active, and you guys know me, I really want to play some brand new games for older systems. And what about you guys? Let me know on the comment section below, what do you guys think about this idea of the GB Studio? Also, let me know if you have any knowledge in game designing. And finally, let me know if you ever wanted to create your very own video game. Let me know on the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put a like on this video. Please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.